It's a major rally at the Ifanyu Bar Stadium in Inewi, an Ambra state. The atmosphere is charged up as it's only a matter of days now to this weekend's governorship election. This massive support is for the re-election of Governor Willie Obiano, organized by a former governorship aspirant, Ifayuba. <laughs> Nollywood actors and actresses bring life to this event with their dancing, followed by endorsement by members of the entertainment industry. <laughs> Top members of the All Progressives Grand Alliance further charge up the crowd to protect their votes with victory for Obiano and Abga, their guide. I am 100% sure because I always predict your victory is certain. On Saturday, be vigilant. Vote and watch over your vote. Good security coverage in the Anambra State and other promises kept are major reasons why many believe he should be re-elected. In the economy, in policy, in society, think they best security. And people who feel secure will come and help you develop your plan. That is what is happening to Anambra now. It's another opportunity for the man of the moment to talk to the people. He makes a passionate appeal that he be allowed to continue in the area of security, payment of salaries, pensions, and other dividends of democracy. When I scan to tell them like uh, uh, Saturday, what do you want to Saturday is already here. Nobody should tell you that. There is security in the state right now. And we want it to remain so in the next four years. Popular musician Flavor returns to his home state for this event in the air with good music as Governor Obiano and his party hope the memories created at this event will last for the next couple of days when they begin to cast their votes. We follow the story because we know that an issue is more than a headline. It shows where it all started and where we might be heading how it all fits together, and why it all comes apart. We follow the story because the need to know never changes. We don't have all the answers, but keeping our eyes open keeps our minds open. We follow the story because we are part of the story. Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. We're coming to you live from Oka. And we've got uh, Chief Victor Ume here with us. He's the chairman, Willy Obiano, re-election and campaign committee, and former national chairman of ABGA. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you. Charlie. Well, the elections are upon us now. And uh, we know that almost everyone is out there in the trenches. But how is he coming out? We imagine that uh, you must be feeling the heat. <laughs> Well, uh, the heat is on quite all right, but uh, we are relaxed because uh, we've done our work and um, we've done um, all that we are required to do, um, mobilizing the electorate to vote for Abga and Willy Obiano. We've been able to put up um, a very robust campaign 
that uh, cannot be compared to any other in this process, present process, you know. Uh, we flagged off our campaign on the 2nd of October here in Oka at uh, Lake Sepueme Square. And that event um, uh, is amazing, you know, because uh, we, we had the largest crowd ever assembled in this state on that flag of, I'm sure you have the, the pictures and the, the clips. Uh, but we they, followed they, it up they all with, uh, that they all have crowds too. No, no, no not compared to. No, they can have crowds, but not compared to what happened. It was an armada of a, a sort, because uh, people w were surprised, you know, uh, with what they saw that day, that the people came out a cross section of the state, not just children, you know, being put in the arena. You saw all the leaders, elders, women, groups, you know, opinion leaders in the states, traditional rulers, and everybody assembling in one spot. Let me interrupt you, but do politicians yeah. really put their faith in yeah. the crowds that they see at their rallies? Do they? Politicians put what? Their faith in the crowds that they see at their rallies. No, the, 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 it doesn't follow most of the time that the crowd you see in your rallies will give you votes. But when the crowd is genuine, you will know. How do you know that? that? You will know by the people that will attend. Like yesterday, APC had a grand final rally. Our leaders were not there. Yes. At the rally I was talking about, um, all the sections of the state were represented fully. When you say your you leaders, know. you mean your party leaders? No, state leaders. Traditional rulers are not party members. They were there. Present generals of town unions are leaders in their communities. Women leaders in the town unions are leaders. You know, there are cultural groups, you know, that have nothing to do with uh, uh, so politics. So you, you monitored their rally? Of course, you showed it. You showed it on television. I couldn't see anybody of note. You know, a flag of Chukwe Mekis if I was there. He wasn't a member of Abga at that time, you know. So um, you see that when people believe in what you are doing. Uh, they come out without persuasion. So that uh, flag of rally cannot be compared to any other. So why do we still have reports of people leaving your party uh, and joining APC? Oh, and many people have joined too. Many, many people have also joined ABGA from other parties, you know. So it's a, it's a, it's a crisscross movement. But that, at, the end, at the end of the day, what is important is the value those who come into your party will add. And, so, those, and those who live, so, so can know, one what you miss in them? 